Stuart Shepherd of Shepherd's Dairy Limited. We're producer retailers. Um, we started using slurry bugs in 2003. So we put it in the channels just to make them run better. And when it was coming into a slurry store, we were getting a lot less crust. Where before when it came into the store, it would take us about seven or eight hours to stir it all up and pump it. It took us about half an hour to stir it up. We found that when we were, we were putting 90 units on for first cut silage and we've cut it down to 70 to 75 units. Second cut, we were putting about 80 to 85 units on and we've cut that down to about 65 units. Third cut, we've put about 60 on and we've cut that down to about 40. And then after that, we'd, we'd often go and put 30 or 40 units on, but now we more or less just go around and put slurry on. Right behind me, we have a field. We have a field which we uh, spread with slurry two weeks ago and as you can see the cows heifers are grazing it before we put the bugs in you put the slurry on you'd have to wait four or five weeks before we could get on and graze it but now we can graze two two weeks after we've got it on hello it's tom richardson um, we're farming lancashire um, we have a, a more traditional uh, farm that's had to lend itself to heifer rearing and, and a, a small beef enterprise um, we've used slurry bugs for about 18 months now, uh, purely for handling uh, purposes because we suffer from bad crust. Uh, this, this building on slats here is a great example. Um, it holds about um, 15 to 16,000 gallons of slurry. Uh, in our tanker loads, probably about 12 loads. Uh, we've always struggled to get any slurry out of it. What we found is that we would suck two loads of urine out when it was full and then it would go really thick and stodgy and we'd struggle, struggle to get any out really. So we introduced the slurry bugs in the, in the winter when it was about minus 15. So it had a fair challenge on its hands to, to get going. Slowly over time it's get, this building's getting emptier and emptier. We're down to probably growing about eight loads out of it. Yeah, granted it's not, uh, it's not homogenised as we'd like yet, but we're certainly improving it all the time. We're actually getting those loads of muck out of the building, which we weren't before. Um, so, it, so we're certainly making a big improvement. So part of the um, part of the things I've done to help this building get going is, is um, between the two buildings here, is, there's a valley gutter. But what we've done by introducing more water, we've put more oxygen in there, which the bugs love because uh, they're oxygen loving um, bacteria, and that's helped stimulate them and get them going as well in this tank. We actually started using the slurry bugs. Um, it was in the winter when it was about minus 15. We had a foot and a half crust on this tower with lots of things growing out the top of it. It's quite embarrassing when uh, the contractors drove through this building and they could see over the top and see all the grass and the elderflower bushes and stuff like that growing. Um, so we introduced uh, the bugs over that winter, which would have been 18 months ago. And I think from the, the, the shots um, of the tower that around that time, they'll to see the improvement. One was from about June, so the, the bugs had already got rid of a lot of the crust, but you can see the green debris and growth that was on the top of the tank. 